Um, I want to state my honest opinion about British people so bad, but Twitch won't allow free speech. We are, okay, as, as I would say an honorary British person, as I have Booney and Shark in this chat, I feel like they would definitely knight me if they had the opportunity to. They would definitely knight me and, and, and make me a part of the, the Royal British Army. Um, we are okay with brevophobia around here, okay? We can do, you can do British face. Brevophobia is accepted, okay? Um, and as we learned today, you're just allowed to say any culture is inferior and they deserve to be ethnically cleansed. So if you want to say that about British people right now, I mean, Asmongold set the precedent, right? Didn't Asmongold set the precedent today? He's not getting banned. So you should be able to say any culture is inferior and that they deserve to be bombed into oblivion i see i see nothing wrong with that according to uh the way twitch is handling what asengold said today right right uh, isn't that isn't that kind of like morally consistent but yeah but the british the whole island should burn just like the french goes tonight cuts your ow who do you being from the USA and calling other cultures violent sure is a bold stance, right? I know. It just the idea of being like, there's other places that are homophobic. Like, like you know, they're they're doing like laws where they're like in Texas where, where they want to check children's genitals to see if they're male or female or not, right? Like, what are we talking about here? You watched the the whole thing happen. Like, did you watch the whole debate? Cause I did. I watched like thirty minutes of it, and then I was like, I gotta go to bed. Oh, I got. I, and like, I don't want to watch something like that and then rewatch it on stream. That that's like the worst. Every once in a while, there's things that I've watched that I tell you guys. I'm like, oh, I've watched this. We're gonna watch it now. But that like a whole three something hour debate. There's no fucking way I'd watch that once by myself and then come to stream and watch it again. No, thank you. No, thanks. Yeah, Texas has a law against homosexual homosexuality, but isn't in effect because of the previous Supreme Court ruling. Yeah, it's it's just it's just so you're just picking straws at that point. Just like, oh, this one's homophobic. This one's homophobic. This one's homophobic. This one's not homophobic. It's so stupid. White supremacy is birthed out of Christianity. Like, what are we talking about here? This whole nation is a Christian nation. What are we talking about? And I don't mean that it's actually a Christian nation, but you know what I mean. The way a lot of people vote. The reasons why we might get another four years of Trump. Which, man, seeing what happened to, it's so crazy that within the span of, what was it, like six hours, I'm seeing, like, children hooked up to IVs in central Gaza get burned alive while they're still laying on their hospital beds. Like, crying, like, in the videos. Like, I'm sure you guys saw that shit on Twitter of the hospital burning, and there are, like, people in hospital beds hooked up to IVs, like, burning alive crying and then a couple hours later we get to see Asengold, one of the biggest streamers on the platform uh, in gaming say oh yeah no that culture's inferior and they deserve it because they haven't uh they haven't been allowed to develop long enough as a society to where they get to the point to where they like work toward gay liberation it's so stupid it, it, and I, I can't believe twitch isn't doing anything about it but one thing you have to remember, one thing that's very important in this situation is that Asengold just like six months ago, whatever, was talking about a kick deal. Kick was offering him money. If Asengold gets banned, he's just going to go over on kick. And I bet Dan Clancy has that going around in his head, you know? Like, oh, fuck, he, one of our biggest streamers could go over kick. But... 
actually, now that I think about that, Zach Rar, he costs Twitch money. I, I would, I could see them being stoked to get him off the platform. Because he runs his channel unmonetized and costs them like millions of dollars just to run his channel through Amazon Web Services. Yo, I'm going to be burping a lot the next little bit. I, this is really fucked up. It's like, I can't drink carbonated drinks like this. I was kind of stoked. I, I thought it was going to be just like a juice, a tea. But it's not. It's carbonated. And I can't drink carbonated shit on stream. I, I already burp enough when I'm talking. Every once in a while, I'll be like... Burp. Now, it's like every second. And like I said earlier, it's giving me heartburn already. That was weird. Oh, no. You know what? I know what's giving me heartburn. I ate a whole bag of hot Cheetos earlier. That's what it was. <laughs> And then mixing it with this instantly, it just kicked it up. That's what it was. Yeah, what a kick-like statement exactly. They pray, yeah, they probably want him to go somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but why would they not have banned him then today? You know, like it should it should be such an easy thing. You, the moment you say a whole culture's inferior and they deserve to be ethnically cleansed, it's like that's it's Sneeko shit. It's it's uh, Nick Fuentes shit. But as we know, Sneeko is just unbanned on the platform too, so. Uh, my question is that uh, he says he doesn't care about genocide because genocide is inbaked into their culture. He then believes genocide is okay, clearly. Then what? The paradox. Clearly, it's just a reactionary stance for him that actually doesn't make any sense. Exactly. And like I said, wasn't he just saying that games are bad? Because and your the, your example is way better. Like your your mine's more like funny. Yours is actually like oh, getting him in the marketplace of ideas. But it's like wasn't he just saying games bad because too woke? Wasn't he just saying that? And now he's saying Palestinians are inferior because not woke enough. Like I just it does it morally inconsistent. But yours is like that's perfect. That's perfect. Asmund Gold is now banned from this channel. You know what? That's I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. No, actually, I wouldn't want him banned. I'd love to debate him. No, actually, I would never do that. I, what the thirty minutes that I watched Hassan engage Asengold, I would never. I would I would just be like, you're a racist, dumb fuck, and move on. But Hassan, you know, Michael Brooks in mind, kind to people, ruthless to systems. So, and Hassan's whole thing from the jump, from right off rip of being a streamer was, I want to bring leftist progressive ideology to the gaming space that is ridden with conservative in self 4chan ideology. And the only way he's going to do that is by talking to somebody normally. So, uh, like, good on him for sure. But I could never do that. I like after like two talking points I'd be like bro you're just a piece of shit like there's no way around it but then I would lose that person you know but I don't really care I'm not I'm not out here trying to debate people and bring them to my side I'm just here advocating for what I believe in but I would never want to debate somebody like Asmund Gold I just I just feel like at a certain point you're just giving them too much of a benefit of the doubt but again, that's what you have to do if you are trying to convince people's minds. Or, or sorry, change people's minds. Convince them of your 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 side. My reading comprehension is down the drain. Same. I agree. Totally, totally on the same page as you. And I don't even know what page that is because my reading comprehension is bad. But I'm on some page. Yeah, right, I know. Mixable just speaking in the big words. It's kind of hard. Yeah, too woke, get bombed. Not woke enough, believe it or not, get bombed. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, wait, no, hold on. Hold on. Israel saw that there was like some gay Palestinians. They decided not to bomb anymore. There's like, there's no such thing as like a, a religious theoc theocratic government in Palestine right now. There is no government. There is a resistance. Wait, what? Wait, no. Wait, what? Cro oh, cro 
comprehension. Want to know something funny? I, back in, I think it was, it was like first or second grade. We had spelling tests every Friday. And if I got an A on my spelling test, my mom would take me to 7-Eleven and buy me a, a fresh pack of Pokemon cards. Comprehension was one of those words that I spent multiple days learning how to spell. And it's one word that, it's just embedded in my brain. The, the way I learned how to spell it, like the, the, the rhythm that I would say in my head to remember how to spell each set of syllables will never leave me. C-O-M-P-R-E-H-E-N-S-I-O-N. Like, that's exactly how I, like, learned. Same rhythm, everything. That, that, that word is just, like, pivotal in my brain. And it's a good word to be pivotal in your, in your brain because you got to learn how to comprehend stuff, right? <laughs> it's, very, it's a good one to have. It's a, on the Rolodex of words, that's a good one to know. Let's be real. Um, okay, quick personal updates. I have a doctor's appointment in the morning. 